Welcome back to the Pro Sports Podcasters on YouTube. My name is Kuber Duran. Most of you know me as Kobe from the podcast. And today I'm going to provide you with my top 10 undervalued defensive moments on the NFL All Day Marketplace. Now, what I've done here is I've actually compiled three from each defensive group. So I've got three defensive linemen three linebackers, and three defensive backs. And then I've got one additional bonus for you at the end to provide you with the full top 10. And I'm going to start with a defensive lineman. And what I'm looking for here are players that are actually going unnoticed on the marketplace, or maybe something specific has happened in the offseason to increase their value, and that hasn't really shown up in the pricing on the marketplace. And it begins with Someone I've mentioned a number of times in previous videos, and that's Brian Burns. Brian Burns, a Carolina defensive lineman, is at five bucks. He's one of the fastest, quickest off the ball linemen in the NFL. Last finished last season with 10 sacks. Would not surprise me if he has more this season. And the primary reason being is that the Panthers have improved. Okay, they've significantly improved. They went out, they got Baker Mayfield. That's a significant step up. We've got Christian McCaffrey back. If he can stay healthy this season, that's going to really boost the offense and give them opportunities to play from a lead, which gives the go-ahead to defensive linemen and linebackers to just tee off on quarterbacks. So I expect Brian Burns to have a significantly better season this year. He already had a good season last year. The guy's fun to watch. He's so quick off the ball. I mean, at five bucks, that's just a given. you got to have a couple in your... Collection, I already do. Next, I've got Chris Jones. And Chris Jones is kind of like the anchor of the Kansas City defense. He is by far now the most important player on the Kansas City defense. They lost some people in the offseason. Chris Jones knows how to get to quarterbacks. More importantly, he's very quick, you know, sort of between the hashes. So he's a great tackler when it comes to shoring up the middle with running backs and such. So I love Chris Jones. I love what he can do. He's basically the star player on the Kansas City Chiefs defense. And of course, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to have a lot of leads in a lot of games. And that's going to give him a lot of opportunities to just go after the quarterback. So again, Chris Jones, five bucks again. Come on. Like, way too cheap. And then the last one is someone I've mentioned in practically every defensive video I've put together. And that's Trey Hendrickson, right? Trey Hendrickson, since the move, to the Cincinnati Bengals has been given to go ahead to just go after quarterbacks and that's it. He really doesn't have to do anything else. His job is to get to the opposing quarterback and he's done that very well in in Cincinnati. And partially that's due to the fact that you have a lot of these like shootout games. Quarterbacks are forced to drop back and pass costly against the Bengals because they have such a high high-scoring offense and a quick-strike offense that in order to keep pace, they've got to throw. And that gives so many opportunities to that that Bengals defensive line and especially Trey Henderson. So again, another $5 defensive lineman going completely unnoticed. He was like a top three sack leader last season. So come on, get yourself some Trey Hendersons. I got a bunch. (laughs) All right. Now I'll move on to my linebackers. And It begins with someone I haven't mentioned that often. I really haven't mentioned him since like one of the first videos I put together on this channel for NFL All Day, and that's Devondre Campbell. Devondre Campbell is the kind of like the quarterback of the defense for the Green Bay Packers. And a lot of people are expecting the Green Bay Packers to take a step back this year, but how much of a step back can they take with Aaron Rodgers at the helm? They're still going to be a very efficient, very high-scoring offense, and Devondre Campbell is going to benefit from that. But what I really like about Devondre Campbell this season is, number one, he got paid. Okay? He had his, his best statistical season in 2021, and as a result of that, he got the bag. And now he's got a chance to show with all that certainty that you know he can't lose his job. Even if he gets injured, he's okay. So he's just going to unleash this season. And He's a very quick sideline to sideline linebacker. He's always near the ball. This guy gets a ton of tackles on top of sacks. Devondre Campbell is just a complete linebacker. And that's one to watch. And right now, 
He's at eight bucks. Okay, linebackers, of course, they're a little more of a glamour position on the defensive side, so the pricing is a little bit higher here, but still at $8, that's a fantastic deal. Then, of course, I got Von Miller. Von Miller's currently at 10 bucks. I've I mentioned Von Miller in so many of my videos, and it's for obvious reasons, right? He's Super Bowl 50 MVP. He won the Super Bowl with the LA Rams last year. Big part of that was his ability to get to the quarterback. He's one of the quickest linebackers off the edge. There really isn't. I mean, an offensive lineman that can keep up with him, there really isn't. And now he goes to Buffalo with that sick defense, great defensive back. So it's going to give him even more time to get to the quarterback. Von Miller is going to have a phenomenal season. So you've got to have Von Miller in your collection for a number of reasons. But when it comes to, say, sack challenges, he's going to factor in almost guaranteed. All right, 10 bucks. And... Last of my linebackers is someone I mentioned again in one of the very first videos, and that's Foya Lucan. And Foya Lucan currently is $10 as well. He's part of the He Called Game series, so you've got that connection too. He, for a common, is only minted to 6,000, so it's a slightly lower mint count. But we're talking about the tackle leader from 2021. He recorded the most tackles in 2021. And that was as an Atlanta Falcon. Okay, so again, when you're a defensive leader, on a shitty defense, you're going to get a lot of activity. And that was the case in Atlanta. But now he moves to Jacksonville Jaguars, which again, I mean, the defensive unit is better, but they've got a very strong defensive front. So teams are going to have to throw. They really are going to have to throw against Jacksonville in a lot of cases, or they're going to have to use screens, or like say inside zone runs and the first level of defense once they get past that front is Foye Lucan. Again, he's going to get a ton of tackles. He also has the ability to drop into coverage. He knows how to pick up screens almost better than any sort of new young linebacker out there. So I love this guy. He's only going to get better. I think he's going to have a great season in Jacksonville. And right now at 10 bucks, uh, that's a steal. So Foye Lucan, 100%. I've got a couple in my collection. Most of these guys I've got multiples of because of how undervalued they are. And then last, I got the defensive backs, and it begins with, with Kenny Moore II. And Kenny Moore II is technically, I would call him a shutdown corner, but he plays in such a way that it doesn't appear like that. So although he's such a great cornerback, he gets targeted quite often because his closing speed is ridiculous, right? He can make it look like the receiver he's covering is open, and before the ball gets there, he, he closes so fast that he can make a play on the ball. Not to mention the Indianapolis Colts have just an all-around great defense to begin with, so they put quarterbacks in bad situations, and when they're forced to release that ball, they don't see Kenny coming, so interceptions are definitely a big part of his game. He's got great hands. He knows the game well. He always seems to Mark, not only his his particular wide receiver, but he knows when to drop off coverage as well and close distance on running backs. So I love Kenny Bohr. He gets so overlooked. Again, the Indianapolis Colts, they at one point were considered kind of like the no-name defense just a, you know, a couple of years ago, but some of those players are starting to get recognized. And this is a year for Kenny Moore to get recognized. Get Kenny Moore in your collection. He's... Only four dollars. That's criminal, right? And four bucks. It's just stupid that if you don't have him, you gotta have him. Okay. You just gotta have him. Then I got Buda Baker. And Buda Baker is feels like he's a veteran at this point. He really hasn't been in the league that long, but it feels like he's been there forever because he's he has such a high uh football IQ. He always seems to read the opposing offense knowing knows what's going on. He has this tendency to just be where the ball is. Again, quick burst of speed, but he doesn't have the same seam speed as many as maybe a Kenny Moore, but his football IQ allows him to be where he needs to be and disguise coverages. So it's amazing what Buda Baker can do. Again, Arizona Cardinals, another great defense. When you've got the guys up front that can pressure the quarterback. You've got someone like J.J. Watt that can clog up the middle and make it difficult for quarterbacks to find passing lanes. Buda Baker benefits from that. Okay, So I love Buda Baker. He's currently at 5 bucks. He's 100% he's going to go up because the Arizona Cardinals are a good enough team that there's going to be a lot of attention on them this season. So Buda Baker will get noticed. 
And then the last defensive back is J.C. Jackson. And J.C. Jackson has quickly become one of my favorite cornerbacks in the league. Last season, he had an opportunity because of all the issues going on with Stephon Gilmore at New England and proved himself to be capable as a number one cornerback on a defense. So much so that he was one of the interception leaders and got himself a very juicy contract with the LA Chargers this season. And that's actually a step up in situation because the LA Chargers are going to be a quick strike offense in a very aggressive division. There's going to be a lot of shootouts going on. Teams are going to be forced to actually throw the ball against them. And that's going to give J.C. Jackson plenty of opportunities for interceptions. And all three of my defensive backs are basically potential interception leaders at the end of this, of this particular season. So if you think there's going to be an interception challenge like I do, it's going to pay off to have these guys now as opposed to having to pay for them at a premium when that actually happens. So do yourself a solid. Get a J.C. Jackson. The guy's going to have a phenomenal year in L.A., and I just love his skill set. He is a true shutdown corner, and, I mean, in the AFC West, he's going to have plenty of opportunities to showcase his skills. So, get a J.C. Jackson. And then my bonus defensive player for this particular episode is Joey Bosa. Joey Bosa was at one time considered one of the premier sack leaders in the league, and then he's sort of fallen off. But that really isn't the case. It's got nothing to do with his ability. They are not diminished. Okay, what's happened here is for a little while there, the LA Chargers, their defense fell off, right? He was forced to do more. He was facing more double teams. He really wasn't getting the opportunities that some of these other sack leaders have had. And on top of that, he's been overshadowed by his brother, Nick Bosa. So that's the one that everyone talks about in San Francisco. But this year, the LA Chargers did him a solid, and they went out and they signed a beast in Khalil Mack. So now you've got two premier sack specialists on either side of the defense. He's not going to face nearly as many double teams this year. Like I said before with J.C. Jackson, we're talking about a a team that's going to be a lot of shootouts, so quarterbacks are going to have to drop back and look to pass. And that's going to give him even more opportunities for sacks. It would not surprise me if Joey Bosa has more sacks than Nick Bosa this particular season. That's a bet I would love to make. And that's my top 10 undervalued defensive moments on the NFL Marketplace comments. Till next time.